Hello, and welcome to another video. I've gotten some comments and questions about the use of the term instance when referring to instance methods and instance variables, so let's talk about it. In this video, I'll discuss the difference with specific respect to variables, and I'll follow up with a second video on the differences between instance methods and static methods. Firstly, depending on the language you're working with, the terminology may vary slightly. For example, instance variable may be referred to as a member variable, or instance methods may just simply be called methods or functions, but the underlying principles are the same. When I first learned Java, I found understanding the difference between static and instance really helpful, so I'll stick with those terms for this video. So let's talk about instance or member variables first. Instance variables are declared inside classes, but not inside methods. Instance variables are also assigned a default value, and they default to zero unless you assign them some other value. They cannot be reinitialized directly within a class, but they can be reinitialized inside methods. Instance variables can also only be accessed by creating objects of their class. Static variables are declared in classes with the static keyword. Only one copy of the variable is created, so let's see what that means. Let's say I create a student class. The class has one instance variable and one static variable. I'll create three objects of the student class, student1, student2, and student3. Students1, 2, and 3 will have their own copies of the instance variable current grade. From a practical perspective, this would make a lot of sense, as each student is likely to have a unique grade in a given course. However, student 1, 2, and 3 all share the same static variable, total students. That is, they all have a reference to the same copy of the variable. Again, from a practical perspective, you could update the static variable every time you created or deleted a student object, and therefore kept track of the number of students enrolled in your course. Using a static variable this way is just one way to do something like this. However, alternatively, you could use a list of students and simply keep track of the size of the list instead. Let's talk a little bit about accessing the values of the variables. Instance variables are accessed by specifying which object's version of the variable you are trying to get to. So to access the current grade of student1, we should use something like s1.currentGrade. For static variables, we specify the class name, so to access total students, we must use something like students.totalStudents. Let's do a quick recap of what we've seen so far. Each object of a class has its own copy of its instance variables. All objects of a class share the same static variable. Therefore, changes made to an instance variable using only one object won't be seen in other objects. But for static variables, the changes will indeed be seen as static variables are common to all objects of a class. Feel free to pause this video and try creating some instance and static variables on your own. On the screen now is a very basic program with one instance and one static variable. Notice how the static variable is accessed with a class name and the instance variable is accessed with the specific object that it's tied to. Also notice that in the student's class constructor, the static variable numStudents is incremented by one every time a new object is created to add another student to the total number of students. There are also three copies of the instance variable in this program, and you guessed it, they are the current grades for students one, two, and three. The code that you just saw outputs the following to console when run. Again, the grade here is the instance variable, and the total number of students on the last line is the static variable. I hope this gives you a better understanding of instance versus static variables and how to correctly use them. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos in the comments below.